now let's consider every plot on higher order filters higher order filters of course having butterworth response and of any response or any category can be constructed either by increasing the number of passive filtering units associated with the active component or in a more convenient manner by the cascading of lower order filters the first method of increasing the number of passive filtering units associated with the active filter is not a very suitable method as long as the construction of higher order filters are concerned so for example for a first order filter you will have a first order passive filtering unit associated with the active component that is amplifier so this is the first unit of the passive filter and for constructing a second order filter of course we will be incorporating or connecting in series a second passive filtering unit with the first passive filtering unit of the first order filter so that it will be getting modified as a second order filter either low pass filter or high pass filter in order that you obtain butterworth response you will have to take care of the mid band gain or pass band gain as necessitated by the butterworth polynomial in terms of the relation a equal to 3 minus 2k however this method of introducing more and more passive filtering units with the active filter is seldom employed and is a less encourageable method as long as the construction of higher order filters are concerned because as you increase the number of passive filtering units the power rating of the device will be increased <coughs> power loss of the device also will be increased so that the voltage share of the final unit that is immediately in connection with the amplifier will be getting reduced on the course of increase of the passive filtering unit so what often being done is that in order to construct a higher order filter lower order filters are being cascaded <coughs> the maximum number of lower I and mean, passive filters that are being incorporated with an active component will be generally limited to two and once you are increasing the number of passive filtering units there is one more difficulty there will be two different components that needed to be grounded as long as the two passive filtering units are concerned for the first unit you can directly ground it for the second unit this needed to be connected to a high voltage point that is the output voltage point <laughs> through which there can be a ground connection if you are in introducing a third passive filtering component there will be no ground terminal or no a connection node to which the uh, component can be grounded in that unit of passive filtering unit this is also the reason why the number of passive filtering units that can be incorporated with the active component is limited to two so to construct a third order filter what we often do is that we will cascade a first order filter with a second order filter and to construct a fourth order filter two second order filters will be cascaded and to construct a fifth order filter a fourth order filter can be cascaded with a first order filter so often cascading is the most suitable method for constructing higher order filters and in cascading generally we will be cascading first order filter units and second order filter units even if we assume that for constructing a fifth order filter a fourth order filter and a first order filter can be cascaded a fourth order filter must have already been constructed by cascading two second order filters <coughs> and while cascading in order that you obtain a butterworth response we will have to take care of the 
mid band gain or the pass band gain of the uh, amplifier configuration that generally follow this empirical relationship as long as Butterworth filters are concerned that is a equal to 3 minus 2k where 2k is the coefficient of s in the corresponding Butterworth polynomial as long as first order filter is concerned you can have any gain since the first order polynomial first, first order Butterworth polynomial is given by s plus 1 coefficient of s is 1 when this is 1 a can be any particular value However, to construct a second order filter, <coughs> the gain must be a equal to 3 minus 2k, where 2k for second order filter, second order Butterworth polynomial being given by a square plus root 2s plus 1. So, the coefficient of s is root 2, that is 2k is root 2, then the mid band gain will be 3 minus root 2. 3 minus 1.414 that is equal to 1.586. For a third order polynomial, <coughs> the third order uh, Butterworth filter will be constructed by cascading a second order filter with a first order filter. Or the converse can also be done, the input can be given to a first order filter, the output of which is taken as the input for the second order filter. The third order Butterworth polynomial is given by S plus 1 into S square plus S plus 1. And in the second order polynomial present in the third order polynomial S square plus S plus 1 have a coefficient of S that is equal to 1. Then for the second order filter in the third order cascaded filter the second order filter must have a pass band gain of 3 minus 1 equal to 2 whereas the first order filter can have any particular value of gain fourth order filter will be obtained by cascading a second order filter with another second order filter with the mid band gain being necessitated by the Butterworth polynomial. The fourth order Butterworth polynomial can be obtained as the product of two quadratic Butterworth polynomials given by a square plus 0.765s plus 1 and a square plus 1.848s plus 1. So for the first second order unit in the fourth order Butterworth filter, 2k is 0.765 and for the second second order filter unit 2k is 1.848 then for the first filter the pass band gain must be 2.235 and for the second filter the pass band gain must be 1.152 so that the overall gain of the fourth order filter will be the product of these two values 2.235 into 1.152 that's equal to 2.5747 so for a fourth order Butterworth filter, the mid band gain must be 2.5747, which is being obtained by using two second order filters having mid band gains 2.235 and 1.152. And this is how higher order filters can be obtained. And the significance of higher order filters is that. As you increase the order of the filter, more and more ideal filter response will be obtained. The ideal filter response for a low pass filter is shown here. Gain is taken along the y axis and log frequency or frequency is taken along the x axis. If it's a first order filter, the stoke band will have a roll off of 20 dB per decade. If you introduce one more filtering unit the roll off will be more steeper with a rate of 40 db per decade if you increase one more filter unit by cascading a first order filter with a second order filter a more ideal or a more 
good filter response that is more closer to the ideal filter response can be obtained since it will have a roll off of 18 dB per decade and as this is being increased <coughs> on the course of each and every increase of order of filter more and more better filter response will be obtained or ideal response will be obtained however generally or practically this will not be compromised in terms of the power rating and the circuit complication so in practical cases there will be higher order filters having order up to three or four in general so this is about the low pass filter high pass filters and cascading of filters in order to get more and more ideal filter response now let's move on to band pass filter and band reject filter or notch filter or narrow band pass I mean, narrow band reject filter a band pass filter is a filter that will allow a range of frequency to pass through it and will attenuate all frequency beyond this range so that the frequency response the practical frequency response of a band pass filter is like this there will be two corner frequencies for the band pass filter a lower corner frequency or lower cutoff frequency fl and an upper cutoff frequency f h if the frequency of the input signal is in this range from fl to fh it will be allowed to pass through it and if the frequency is less than fl or greater than fh this will be definitely attenuated an ideal filter response is shown here this is shown say like this and i have labeled here fh and fl respectively as the lower cutoff frequency and the upper cutoff frequency in terms of the idea by which we will be constructing a bandpass filter of course a bandpass filter will have two kind of filter response in the upper cutoff it will have the response of a low pass filter and the lower cutoff it will have the response of a high pass filter so a bandpass filter for this kind of a filter is often referred to as a wide band pass filter since this range of frequency being passed by the filter is comparatively larger <coughs> so a wide band pass filter more accurately can be constructed by cascading a low pass filter with a high pass filter so for example suppose we have a low pass filter having corner frequency 5 kilohertz and a high pass filter having corner frequency 3 kilohertz being cascaded like this and i am giving a signal or i am giving all frequencies from 0 to 1 megahertz 1 megahertz and these corner frequencies are in kilos then the input is given to this low pass filter having corner frequency 5 kilohertz then it will allow all frequencies less than 5 kilohertz to pass through it so that the output of this low pass filter will have frequency range from 0 to 5 and all frequency exceeding 5 kilohertz will be attenuated and this is being given to a high pass filter having corner frequency 3 kilohertz high pass filter will attenuate all frequency less than its corner frequency and will allow all frequency exceeding its corner frequency so once 0 to 5 kilohertz comes to the input of a high pass filter having corner frequency 3 kilohertz <coughs> 0 to 3 kilohertz will be attenuated and it will allow 3 kilohertz to 5 kilohertz to pass through it so that in the output we will have a band from 3 kilohertz to 5 kilohertz and this is how a wide bandpass filter can be constructed and there is no a rule of thumb that you will have to supply the input to a low pass filter and the output 
of the high pass filter needed to be taken. The convoys also will work. However, you will have to ascertain that the FH of the low pass filter, high corner frequency of the low pass filter must be greater than the low corner frequency of the